In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the beta of an entire portfolio. So let's say that you invested $2,000 in Walmart stock, $8,000 in Intel stock, and $10,000 in Amazon. And you know that the beta for each of these firms, right? You can go to Yahoo Finance and look up and say, okay, Walmart is 0 0.38. Intel's 0 0.86 and Amazon's 1.46, right? You can tell that, but how do you calculate the beta for this entire portfolio that you have here, right? You wanna know how much systematic risk the portfolio has, not just the individual stocks, right? So how would you go about doing that? Well, you can calculate a weighted average, and to do that, we're gonna to need to first calculate what's the total amount you have invested here. So if we add up the 2,000, the 8,000, and the 10,000, that gives us a total of $20,000. And now that we know you have a total of $20,000 invested, we can go and calculate the weighted average as follows. So Walmart is 2,000 of the entire 20,000, right? So 2,000 out of 20,000 is the same as two over, two over 20, two twentieths. So we're gonna multiply that by Walmart's beta, which is 0.38, right? So Walmart is two twentieths of your position, we're going to multiply that by Walmart's beta, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add to that, we're going to do Intel, which is $8,000, and 8,000 8, out of 20,000 is the same as 8 over 20, and then we're going to multiply that by Intel's beta, which is 0 0.86, and then we are going to add to that the weighted average part of Amazon here. Amazon is 10,000 out of 20,000. That's the same as 10 over 20. And we multiply that by Amazon's beta of 1.46. So 1.46. And so now we go ahead and we just, we just basically do the multiplication of each of these three parts, right? To do the weighted average and then, and then add them together. So if you do the math here, that's gonna give you a beta of 1.11, actually 1.112, but I just rounded it here. So rounded to 1.11 is the beta, I'm gonna use the Greek letter here, beta of the portfolio. Okay, now that tells you how much systematic risk, right? That's what beta is, a measure of systematic risk. 1.11 is how much systematic risk there is in this portfolio that you've put together. And you notice that that 1.11 this is greater than the average systematic risk or the, the systematic risk of an average firm because it's greater than